30 years ago on an August night, Jennifer Levin and Robert Chambers, they met up at a bar on New York's ritzy Upper East Side. They took a walk in the park. She ended up dead. The story became a national obsession. Only one person alive knows what really happened that night, Robert Chambers. He spoke publicly about the case only once, and that was with 48 hours. Tonight, Troy Roberts and Richard Schlesinger bring you the updated story on this infamous case. Over here, over here, over here. Over here. Chambers, Chambers. In August 1986, Robert Chambers made headlines for killing his friend Jennifer Levin in New York's Central Park. I didn't mean to hurt her. I liked her very much. He was handsome and privileged, and the press called him the preppy killer. But to police, he was just a 19-year-old kid with an unlikely story that seemed to blame the victim for her own killing. She's raping you in the block? She's having her way with me without my consent. He always said he struck her to make her stop. Police never believed that story, and Chambers was charged with murder. He pled guilty to first-degree manslaughter and served 15 years in prison. When he was released, he gave his only interview to Troy Roberts of 48 Hours. I was responsible for her death. Okay. There's no question about that. You admitted guilt, but you did not intend to kill her. I don't believe I intended to kill her at all. Everything he said about how she died is absolutely untrue. She was frantically fighting for her life. Am I a monster? No. Because if I were a monster, I wouldn't care. But I do. This is a diploma from the paralegal course I had taken. Robert Chambers hoped he could put his life back together, but life didn't work out as he planned. Robert Chambers turns 50 next month. Where is he now? Tune into 48 Hours, The Preppy Killer, tonight at 10 p.m., 9 central on CBS.